Hi, my name is Hasnain and today we're going to learn about the accounting equation. What is the equation and how important is this equation in the accounting system? And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button while you're here. Okay, so the accounting equation is the backbone of the accounting system. Every single business from a large multi-million dollar company to a really small independent business would need to use this accounting equation if it wants to understand what the impact is of the transactions of the business. The equation shows the relationship between the variables within the equation and it gives you an understanding of the financial position. The accounting equation is also a base for preparing the balance sheet. As we all know, a balance sheet is one of the primary financial statements. It gives you a snapshot of the financial position of the business at any given time. So you can understand how important this equation is. So the equation is assets equals to liability plus equity. What does the accounting equation show? As I've mentioned, it shows the relationship between the three individual variables within the equation. Let's look at what lies within these variables. So within an asset, you can have plant, property and equipment, land and buildings, cash at the bank, stock, which is also known as inventory, accounts receivable, which is also known as trade receivables, repayments. In your liability, you can have your accounts payables, also known as trade payables, other creditors, loans, deferred income, accruals. And in the equity, you can have shareholders capital, which is basically the funds, the investors, or the owners of the business have invested as equity into the business and you can have retained earnings. Retained earnings is basically the profit or the loss for the year of that business which is then accumulated into the balance sheet into the retained earnings account. It's more complex than this to explain exactly what retained earnings is and how it's arrived at. So I will be producing a separate video on retained earnings further down the line on my channel. Back to the equation, assets equals to liability plus equity. Anything that a business owns will be equal to anything that the business owes to its third party suppliers plus anything that it owes to its owners, which are the shareholders. That's the literal meaning of this equation. I would like to take a different perspective and try and explain it in a different way. What this equation shows is that the assets of the business are items which the business owns, right? They need to be funded by either a combination of the liability and the equity, or it can be solely by one of the two, either a liability or an equity. The equation shows how the resources of a business are being funded for. Let's take a quick example on this just to try and explain it better. So let's say, when the business was set up, the owner of the business puts in £100 into the company. What is that £100? It's a shareholder's capital. That's sitting in the equity variable. Your shareholder's capital will be £100. So what's happened? The business has got some money in. The bank balance has gone up by £100. So bank balance is in the asset section. It will be assets £100, shareholder's capital £100, which is in the equity. You can see the equation is balancing and that's the key over here. The accounting equation has always, always got to balance because you're posting under your double entry accounting rules. Now, if you don't know what the double entry accounting rules are or you have problems in understanding what's a debit and credit, I have prepared a detailed video on how to understand double entry and the debits and credits. I'll post the link in the description below and somewhere over here as well. Please do have a look at that video to understand more about debits and credits. Okay, so now back to this example. One week later, the business wants to purchase a computer for business purposes. So it goes out and buys a computer for £300. Let's say the business has not bought the computer on cash. It's bought it on a three months loan. So it's a loan. What was the value of the computer? £300. So it's increased its loan by £300 and that's how the asset was funded. Now, if you see the accounting equation still balances, it's got £400 worth of assets and it's got £400 worth of sources of funds. 
sources of funds would be either the liabilities or the equities. That's the purpose of the accounting equation. It tells you how your assets have been funded. Okay, so just to quickly recap what we've learned and understood in this video. The accounting equation is the foundation of the accounting system and it becomes the base for preparing the balance sheet. The accounting equation shows how the assets of the business are funded, either by liability or equity. And finally, the accounting equation has always, always got to balance. So that was the accounting equation, briefly explained and summarized. Please do let me know in the comments below any other topics you want me to make a video on. And as always, the support you've shown the channel by liking the videos and subscribing to the channel is invaluable. Please keep that coming. It really helps me a lot. Thank you so much. See you in the next one.